Hello YouTubers, again Dave out in Western Pennsylvania 1.61 volts a magnesium battery it's essentially a magnesium air battery and what I have is a PVC base and inside of that I've got uh, about a one and a half inch piece of copper tubing which I hacksawed and placed in a Fisher burner to create some copper oxide surface in and out. Magnesium rod is inserted. It's an older one. I brushed it off to get some fresh metal surface. And I have magnesium sulfate in water as electrolyte. It's handy for bench scale work. I like magnesium air batteries. So we're getting about 1.61. Let's give you a short. Let's see what we get. A hefty 176 short circuit. I'll take it. Magnesium air batteries. Uh, what I have around the magnesium rod, I've got three uh, rubber washers uh, that you get down at the hardware store. And I put those rubber washers uh, around the uh, magnesium rod. I wrap it in paper towel and put the washers there so I can cut down on a short. There's an earlier one I made today. But uh, I put those rubber washers in there around the paper towel and shoved the magnesium rod in. And uh, for the electrodes, boy, I like that. I like that short circuit. I like that amperage. Uh, what I have is, uh, you can get them on eBay. I uh, hooked up a needle uh, for the uh, plus so I can get in there next to the alligator clamp to hold it in place and I've got another clamp at the top holding the the uh, negative lead and I'll work on that a little bit to clean it up but I like the specs on this uh, uh, magnesium air battery and uh, that's a nice that's a nice short circuit good amperage let's go back and see if it rebounds to the uh, open potential let's see where we're at Okay, 1.59 volts. 1.60. Oh, it'll go up, and I'll give it a treatment of uh, electrolyte. And I'm going to put holes in this too, so I have air flow. I'll uh, drill holes in the copper and the PVC tubing. Not much air getting in there, but that's where we're at right now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.